Okay, so what is an example of entropy from everyday life? Okay, so first I'll write down what entropy is. Uh, basically, it measures like the randomness of a system. Entropy is also a spontaneous reaction. I'll also give some common examples. Uh, so one example is the air leaving a balloon. So let's say we have a red balloon. It's nicely inflated. And it contains on the inside these air molecules. So the only reason why they are in there is because someone blew them into the balloon and then sealed it. But ideally, you can just try to picture it. There's a lot of different air molecules that are pushing together inside this balloon and they really don't want to stay there. Let's say someone came and like just hit it with like a needle. Okay, this is supposed to be like a sharp dagger thing. <laughs> and you break the balloon. to draw that. After the balloon is broken, puncture a hole in it, all of these air molecules, this is me drawing air molecules leaving, uh, they leave the balloon. So this is a spontaneous reaction. It's also an example of an increase in entropy. Uh, so another like common example is when you mix like pure substances together. Let's say you have like A and B. I'll write A, you'll have some nice ordered, wait, let me make it look good, a nicely ordered A, pure substance. And you also have an ordered like B substance. If you were to like mix them up, this is an increase in entropy since it increases like the messiness of the system. Let me just draw it like that. And just another simple example is when you dissolve sugar in water. There is an increase in entropy. 
Okay, so I think that's enough examples. Let's see what our junior tutor said. Entropy is the measure of the randomness of a system. The total entropy of the universe is always increasing due to the spontaneous distribution of energy. We see different examples of changes in entropy in our everyday lives. Change in entropy can be observed from the following phenomenon. Uh, melting of ice in the Arctic region. So this is an increase in entropy because of the change of state from solid to liquid. Burning of wood. Uh, this is releasing of energy and gases such as CO2 and water vapor. Rusting of iron. Uh, so this releases energy as a result of oxidation. You can have the dissolution of salts and sugar in water. So this is like what I said, the increase in entropy because of breaking the OH bonds. And finally, storing sugar molecules during the photosynthesis of plants. So this is an example of a decrease in entropy since carbon and water molecules are combined into more ordered sugar molecules. So when you have carbon and the water molecules combined, this requires energy. Um, so therefore, this reaction is not spontaneous since it requires energy. And that is actually the energy that you get from the sun in photosynthesis. Let me just say that this solution is correct.